Hello everyone, welcome to our new blog of LNS Technology. In this blog, we will discuss about reflected cross-site scripting as a continue which we are already going on the different types of attacks. Already we have started the web application vulnerability assessment and penetration testing part. In that part only, we are continuing this attack. Okay. So first we will j quickly jump into in theoretical part, then after we will discuss about practically how this type of attack can be done and how this type of attack can be possible or what are the fields in, in this type of attack we have to check to find out the loophole related to cross-site scripting or XSS. Basically we will first discussing about reflected cross-site scripting. There are multiple types of cross-site scripting mainly. One is the reflected cross-site scripting, other is the stored cross-site scripting. Third one is the DOM based cross-site scripting. So I already following the OFS one. So OFS top 10 and that material which I am referring is also is a OFS material. So I will show explaining you from that part only because it is a standard and everyone is following that part only. So what is reflected XSS or reflected cross-site scripting basically the application or API includes un invalidated unscaped user input as a part of HTML output a successful attack can allow the attacker to execute arbitrary HTML and JavaScript in a victim browser okay typically the user will need to interact with some malicious link that in point to the attacker control the page such as malicious watermark whole website or advertisement or similarly okay i will show you exactly so basically if you can see suppose there is a malicious uh, hacker or attacker you can see so what will happen there is an attack vector so attack vector means to say there is any input field or any search field or any where is the possibility of accesses can be uh, happen Okay, so attacker will be try to insert JavaScript malicious payloads in that and try to check that payload is ex executed in HTML code or not. In that if the HTML code is allowing that uh, JavaScript payloads, okay, then there is a possibility of sure there is a possibility or there is a access is present basically, okay. So what will happen, they will insert uh, into the attack vector, then the security weakness is uh, the, not able to handle that particular part and then it will be executed and that will make an impact. So what there is a three different categories like that way they have been mentioning. Okay. Now quickly jump into that okay, uh, practical and I will show you how that can be done basically. So just I am entering any random name uh, Rahul okay so okay so it means Rahul is reflecting here whatever I am entering it's reflecting uh, I will tell uh, ABC simply ABC is reflecting hello ABC okay now to check it out it is like, there are the two ways i will show you one is direct way but i will prefer as a pen tester way okay to show you how pen tester will check this way so you will also learn about through this way uh, in through burp suit basically okay so let me just turn on burp interceptor quickly okay and turn on burp interceptor i have done and enter like a something like that okay and intercept it so our request is intercepted and we can see that the request is passing the value name okay parameter is the name and that value which we enter in the get request so there's a way is like we can here enter the payload and check it out and other is like we will send this request to the repeater and there we can check it out maximum pen tester will follow like that way and try like it is a vulnerable application so it is a possible like we will able to in one shot or in one 
payload only it will work but sometime what happen like the when one payload or one way of doing the accesses it's not happening okay then we have to follow different different so better way is to send the request in repeat and try whatever multiple times you want to for try accesses payload different different payload basically okay so i will do something like that first i will send this request in, and check it out that this particular value where it is reflecting as df okay so ads is reflecting pre tag of html so what i will do simply okay. this is a very common uh, payload there is a lots of payload is available okay on internet we will discuss later in advanced level but this is a basic so i will follow in that one. so i will just type this and i will take that one. so this is a javascript payload which i am using to perform accesses now what will happen we will see that it is like see if you can see the payload is exactly reflecting the response of the request and if you can see there is the color is coming so it means it is executing like if you see the colors are coming so it means that is properly happening the accesses is properly happening it means that it's working basically now this is a one way okay so now what i will do is simply i will just show this in the browser copy this one and and check it out see accesses the payload is working fine this is a one way other is very different way like i simply again i will do like a something like that and if you can see directly there is a a passing the request okay so i will similarly what i will do is simply i will enter the payload here this is a simple way okay which you can also try see it is working or you can also try to execute from request also this is a, okay so this is a simple reflected process is scripting there is a different way of sometime what happen this payload is blocked by the server side okay so we need to try with a different payload i will just show you there is a when you will try so search accesses payload okay on github so there are so many researchers which they will add their repository on the Uh, GitHub, and you can find out that. You see, there's a lots of payloads. According to the situation, we need to enter, and always every payload will not work. Sometimes it will work, or sometimes it will not work. So we need to check it out the condition, and accordingly we need to decide on that. Okay. So now come into the remediation part quickly. How to prevent it? Okay. So using the framework that is automatically escape the. accesses by design so basically we need to use some framework languages or framework it or libraries basically that will escape that particular accesses payloads okay there is some latest are ruby rails are available this is a old document maybe there is a new also come but like there is a standard one which we are going react js there are libraries are there different types of escaping untrusted html request data based on the context in html output like there is a escaping untrusted html request data whatever data we are passing in a request or that is untrusted we need to escape it out okay other is applying the con context sensitive encoding okay basically we need to implement the best practice i will prefer is to output encoding so whatever we are sending a such payloads this is malicious so that developer should be secure it by performing output encoding in the response on server side basically so when we are entering as i already show you in the request in bug suit repeater so if you are entering this payload okay so it should be output encoded so what is output encoded suppose i will just encode this one and copy it and paste it in a decoder and encode it as a html so it will encode like that way so means that will comes in the response and the payload will not execute okay that is the one practice the developer should be follow this is a very good practice basically okay in also there is one more 
enabling the contained security policy is a defense in the debt means after this all if you implement a contained security policy which is supported by the new browsers so that proper policy will help you to mitigate and control the excesses okay it is the effective way if no other vulnerability exists that will be allow placing a malicious code via local fine tuning or there is a if there is no such vulnerabilities are present there is other ways to local fine tuning is a different type of attack that will comes as a chain of attacks if one attack is not possible in direct way there is a some different way we need to follow basically to perform that attack so this this way i explained you in brief okay so to how to perform excesses uh, and what are the types of excesses here it is already named we will for the cover different type of excesses one by one okay and also remember this is all our educational purposes and we are uh, demonstrating showing or uh, this for educational purposes so that we will give the developer some idea how to prevent such attacks basically also we will help in some researchers security researchers or a newcomers who don't know about it how they can perform it different type of attacks so these are only for education purpose okay so don't perform such attacks on a live website or such a production or important a banking website if you perform such a things without authorization on such that is a crime basically okay thanks for watching this video thanks for watching thanks for your time please like and subscribe our channel on youtube thanks